Well, next week, Cuba will host Pope Benedict. It marks the pontiff's first trip to Latin America and comes nearly 15 years after his predecessor, John Paul II, made his historic journey to the island nation. When Benedict arrives, it will be hard to disguise the impact punishing U.S. embargo has had on the country's infrastructure. But recently, two photographers explored Havana and found a city that is undergoing change. Here's their first-person account. The question is, what is old Havana? And I think to most Americans, they see Fidel and cigars. And for me, what old Havana is the people. They're incredibly gifted, wonderful people. Second of all, it is the kind of the chaotic visual of a city that's gone into decline. I'm Chip Cooper, and I've just finished a book about Old Havana, La Havana Vieja, which to me captures the essence of what's going on in Old Havana right this minute. I'm not a street photographer, I'm a landscape photographer. Nestor Marti is a street photographer. We try to get a feeling of old Havana, you know, because if you come here, you got a special feeling. If you move to a different neighbor, it's different. Everything is different. We have a lot of color here, textures. The people is different, so friendly, and they are very open. You can definitely see the change. You can see the change in the way the people are receiving information. You can see the change in their starting to open businesses. They're facing such severe problems that they're having to change, and you can see it. You can see it on a street level. I think the exciting thing is the Cubans finally see in the last, say, four years, that there's change coming. I gotta say, it took me a while to get my sea legs to be able to understand what I was photographing because I wanted to portray it from the heart, from my heart. There is renewal in Old Havana of bringing it back to what it once was, the elegance. And then there are places that are falling down that have no hope. What I tried to capture is a sense of place that most people have never seen, have no concept of. And with that probably comes the good, the bad, and the ugly. You have to pass for the same place all the time, every day. And the place could be different any time, in every moment, because Havana is very alive, very vibrant. You have to move all the time because it's your work. You have to train in your eyes for trying to look different, move, change perspective. You have to rediscover it all the time because it can be different anytime. Chip Cooper and Nestor Marti there on the photographs they've captured in their new book, Old Havana.